Well, like I always say, that is not right or wrong. It's what hopefully works for some and works for others. For me, my main purpose as a coach is to simplify things for you, yes? And then once you develop that simple technique, we can always add little spices and flavors to your shot, yeah? But to me, one of the biggest mistakes I see when people get started with technique is that everything is so big. You know, everything is so big. And you know, that's basically your body naturally will ask you for big motions, yeah? So the idea of having a coach or doing training, investing in your development is to understand that you need to educate your body to become smaller, yeah? So, and this is basically, sorry to, 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 to get a little bit uh, in detail here, but it's in every sport. In every sport, any player of any sport that is good is compact. Like in football, a good footballer has the ball attached to the foot. A good tennis player is here. Tick, tick. Yeah. A good swimmer doesn't look like this. Yeah. A good swimmer is like the guy is not moving. A good golfer is tick, boom. Yeah. So in every sport, it's like this. And in paddle, the same. Yeah, if a guy is like this, yeah, I can already tell you that he might be a good tennis player, but he sucks at paddle. So, small. Going back to the question, I will apply the same concept as I just told you. So, I will prepare as just going up instead of back. Yes? And the main reason is, there are many reasons, but to me the biggest reason is that if the racket is far from the ball, it will be more difficult to hit it clean. So the closer the racket is to the ball and the closer the racket is to your eye, to your eyesight, the more chances or the most likely you are going to hit the ball well. So to me, if you are just getting started, remember that it's very similar to what you do when you catch, but hopefully you rotate your core and your hip, so you don't look like this. And then once you start understanding this motion, you just work on a little follow through. So basically, we're not going to think I'm going to hit the ball. Instead, we're going to receive the ball and I'm going to pass. Yes, I'm going to receive the ball and I'm going to pass. 